Meanwhile, one of the first British cars with a post-war look was the 1950 Rover, additional proof that the company was marching with, or even ahead of, the times. And looking ahead of the times was another project at Soliho, the gas turbine engine that one day is going to revolutionize internal combustion. With Jet 1, the original model, now in the Science Museum, research is forging ahead. And this base unit is used for development, a mobile test bed. A new conception and a new form of motoring are seen in T3, the gas turbine prototype car. Only a beginning, it is already accepted as the pattern for motoring in the years ahead. But behind this experiment was a flow of normal rover cars. In the post-war years, to own a rover became more and more a desirable objective, and production increased with demand. The world appreciates progress and new conception, and now, with all that had been learned in 60 years, the rover company began developing a new car to meet the needs of wider markets. The three-litre, bigger, longer, lower than other rover cars, more roomy, and more powerful. This car will soon leave the works and go out into the world. The test driver's report will be filed away for many years to come, part of the pedigree certificate of a thoroughbred. For every Rover product is a thoroughbred, in the true sense of the word. The outcome of the consistently high standards of a long lineage and the detailed care of today's grooming. Back to the world of sport and yet another Rover Triumph. A car ferry aircraft returns to Britain with one of the most successful cars of the 1958 Monte Carlo Rally. And that was a contest in which success really meant something, for it was the toughest and most arduous Monte Carlo Rally for a quarter of a century. Of the 302 starters, only 59 reached Monaco within the rules, and Lincolnshire farmer J.W.E. Banks with his navigator R.M.E. Smith drove the only one of those 59 cars which was still fit to enter the Concours d'Elegance at the end of the rally. And the car, a new mauve grey Rover 105S. Mr. Banks Rover won all three Concours d'Elegance, road safety and comfort prizes. And in a rally where to arrive at all was a major achievement, to arrive unscratched and in perfect order after 1,800 gruelling miles of snow, ice, mountains and fog, was a tremendous tribute both to the skill and endurance of the men and to the quality and toughness of their machines. 